In this video, we'll go through an example illustrating how we can solve a first order linear ordinary differential equation using an integrating factor. And for that, we'll consider the following RL circuit. An RL circuit is something that has a source, a resistance, and an inductance. And the current in this type of circuit is generally described by this differential equation. So remember the inductance acts as your inertia in the system. So it resists change just like mass does in a mechanical system. And the resistance acts as a damping uh, term. And finally, your force is kind of uh, like your voltage in a, in a circuit. And what you'll notice is this isn't quite in our general form for a first order linear ODE. So in general, you have a derivative term all by itself, a term that could be a function of whatever you're differentiating uh, your variable by. So in this case, it's X. In the circuit, that variable is T. And the current depends on time. And then this is equal in general to some function of this variable that you're differentiating by. And, and again, in this case, it's X. In our particular example, this is now, that variable is now time. So we wanna put this in exactly this form. So we need to get rid of this L. And we do that by dividing both sides by L. to get this. And now that it's in our general form, we can calculate what the integrating factor is. We can identify P as being just a constant in this case, R over L. So this the integrating factor is the exponent of the integral of whatever is multiplying i with respect to time. And this is just another way of writing e to the power of something, writing out x. Since these are just constants, then you're just left with this. So your integrating factor is given by that. Then we can immediately write out the general solution based on where uh, what we showed in the last video. Plus a constant. So this is one over the integrating factor. Uh, this is our integrating factor, this is positive. And this is integrated with respect to whatever term is on the right-hand side. In this case, Vt over L. And we have to add an integration constant to that. For this particular example, we're going to consider the case where the voltage varies as a sinusoid uh, with some frequency omega and amplitude V naught. So in that case, we can replace VFT by that. And then I won't go through the details of performing this integration. Um, you can do that by expressing sine in terms of complex exponentials.
So this part is our first term over here. And then the second term is just this integration constant multiplied by this factor over here. This is what we have. This is R over L. This is also an L. And in general, what you'll find in these cases is this term is the solution to what's known as the homogeneous ODE. So the homogeneous ODE is the case where this is equal to zero over here. This term over here is the solution to the non-homogeneous equation, which is when this term on the right-hand side is not equal to zero. Now to find a particular value of C, we need an initial condition. So we need to know what the current was, for example, at the beginning of our observation of the circuit, which we'll set to time equals to zero. And in this case, we're going to say that at times equal to zero, there wasn't any current in the circuit. So we look at what happens to this solution when time is equal to zero, and we're going to isolate C. So for this initial condition, the solution to our differential equation becomes the following. And now we can easily isolate the value of C by bringing this over to the other side. So for this particular initial condition, we have that we have the complete solution describing the behavior of the current in the circuit. Which is given by the following expression. So this equation fully describes how the current is going to behave as a function of time in this circuit. You'll notice that it will continue to oscillate for uh, indefinitely. There's no term that will eventually uh, kill these two terms. And it has uh, this exponentially decaying term that will gradually uh, go away as time goes on. So this term represents what's called uh, a transient solution in this, in the particularities of this example, it will be transient currents, which eventually die out as time goes on. So to uh, illustrate this more concretely, for this differential equation with these initial conditions, this is what the solution looks like in its full form. So 
you see that will continue to oscillate because of our two uh, sinusoidal terms. And you also see that it has uh, an exponentially decaying part shown by the dashed red line, which eventually dies out uh, completely and you're only left with the oscillations. Uh, this was uh, with these particular values for the uh, peak voltage, resistance, inductance, and the uh, frequency uh, of, of the voltage. So this video showed how to uh, solve the first order linear ODE using integrating factors. And this concludes our exploration of a first order differential equations. In the next video, we'll begin looking at second order differential equations with constant coefficients.